Musician Freedom Shapes may have gotten himself into a boatload of legal trouble this summer. This bizarre story involves a sunken cargo ship, forged documents, and the Australian government. Let's go to Lori with the story. Thank you, Kevin. What was supposed to be a simple boat ride to perform a charity concert turned deadly when a massive cargo ship caught fire with Freedom Shapes and crew members on board. Freedom Shapes and crew members have since been rescued, but the captain of the ship has perished in the accident. The Australian government has since been involved to clean up the mess. But upon further inspection, Australian officials noticed something fishy. Upon further inspection, we found forged documents which indicate Mr. Shapes intended to evade paying a large trade tariff on electronic devices, which is a violation of international tax law. In another bizarre finding, video evidence has surfaced indicating that the fire on board the vessel was caused by Freedom Shapes and Captain Cliff Mallard, who were seen smoking cigars in the engine room while under the influence of alcohol. During the search, we found video surveillance showing Mr. Freedom Shapes and Captain Cliff Mallard recklessly smoking cigars near gasoline that was leaking from the engine. One of our reporters was able to track down Freedom Shapes for comment, where he was seen at the Third Street Promenade in Santa Monica selling burnt CDs. Here with Mr. Freedom Shapes, Mr. Freedom Shapes, do you have anything you'd like to say about the vessel fire off of the coast of Australia? No, absolutely not. I have the best attorneys in the world. I'm actually on a gag order about that right now, so I'm not going to be able to comment on that. What I will say, though, is uh, Elmer, uh, Elmer is a brother of Cliff Mallard. Uh, Elmer is extremely upset about the situation and uh, please just please don't sue me Elmer. Uh, we're figuring it out. Thank you. And what are you doing here? Really just a sad situation for all parties involved here. And the future for Freedom Shapes? Uncertain as the Australian government decides whether or not to file any formal charges. Kevin? Lori, thank you. And right now we actually have Mr. Freedom Shapes' lawyer on video conference here in the studio. Richard, what's going on? Can you give us some clarity on whether your client is guilty? Freedom Shapes is absolutely, emphatically, 100% not guilty. Not only is he not guilty, but he hasn't even been charged with anything yet. He was not the one who drafted the bill of lading, so how can he be held responsible for any of the tax issues? And another thing is, how is it his fault that the captain of the ship gave him a cigar? I mean, it was the captain's idea to be smoking cigars in the engine room, and it was ultimately the captain's responsibility for the safety of the boat and the crew. It was a mistake made by the captain of the ship, and unfortunately, it already cost him the ultimate price, his life. So, as far as I'm concerned, there is no case here, Kevin. Rich, the Australian government is now in possession of the cargo from the ship, which I'm hearing is 700 loop pedals. Is that right? Uh, absolutely correct. And we have sent a cease and desist order to the Australian government demanding they return the 700 loop pedals to Mr. Shapes, or they're going to find themselves in a courtroom, Kevin. And who wants that? Thank you, Rich. That's all we have on this developing story for now. Coming up...